Welcome to Swan Galleries and our occasional video newsletter featuring interesting, exciting, important, or otherwise notable objects that we have coming up for auction. Uh, today, on the eve of our big winter vintage poster sale, in which we have traditionally featured a large selection of skiing posters and winter sports posters, I'm delighted to share with you two great examples, one European and one American, of uh, the finest and most exciting, most interesting, most colorful, sound like a salesman, posters we could possibly see. We're gonna start here uh, with Martin Pikert's 1955 poster for Champeret in the Swiss Alps. Um, those of you who are serious skiers will definitely notice the Teleferique plan of show up there, traversing the mountains, getting to the top. You'll also know the skiers making their way down the slopes. Those of you who are perhaps not so, who are not so interested in skiing might notice a different attribute of this poster. Uh, it's an extraordinary, anthropomorphication of the mountain as a beautiful woman. Uh, there is a term in skiing when you hit the moguls, it's called skiing the bumps. And I think that Pikert has really depicted that. It is, it is sensual, it's this wonderful image with these bright colors, absolutely extraordinary. Um, in many ways, he is tying skiing in with a more relaxed atmosphere. One might say this is the first visual de depiction of a dapre ski lifestyle. Uh, but either way, the forms of the mountain, the forms of the woman, all comes together in a, in a magnetic poster. And as is my want, I, there's one part about this poster that I don't understand, and I'm going to throw it out there to all of you to perhaps figure it out. No details were put in unintentionally, and there's one detail on the poster that I just don't understand, which is the fact that this woman has hanging from her pocket uh, what appears to be a claw or a rabbit's foot. And frankly, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, maybe it's just a zipper pull on the side of her ski pants, uh, but either way, if, if you're aware of what that is, I would be delighted to know. It will help add a great backstory to this already extraordinary poster. Now, the other poster I'd like to look at is from America from 1940, so about a decade and a half earlier. Uh, and this poster is by the very highly regarded and well-known American artist named Dwight Shepler. Some people know Shepler because he was also a member of the U.S. Armed Forces. He actually landed at Normandy as a military artist. Uh, I believe he ended his career in the military with the um, rank of commander, uh, but he was also a great artist and he spent a lot of time advertising ski resorts, specifically Sun Valley. As I said, this poster is from 1940 and it depicts the roundhouse on Baldy Mountain, Baldy Mountain being the prime mountain in the Sun Valley range. The roundhouse was built in 1939-1940 with money left over after they constructed the first ski lifts. So basically this is from the first real ski season uh, that Sun Valley had. And people love this poster not only because of its location. And for those of you who are ski posters collector, ski poster collectors, you'll know that location really is everything. With the European posters, it's San Moritz, it's Davos, it's Chamonix. One thing I didn't mention before that Champery uh, is a very famous ski resort in and of its own right, just not quite with the A-list appeal that, say, San Moritz has. But Sun Valley really is the creme de la creme of American ski resorts, and they produced a number of wonderful posters. Uh, this is from the very early days of the Roundhouse on Bald Mountain, and another great example of ski posters that we have coming up in our sale, something to excite connoisseurs and new collectors alike. Thank you.